Shooters Hill is a district in South East London that comes under the Royal Borough of Greenwich. It connects with the north part of Eltham and the south part of Woolwich. Shooters Hill was derived during a period of time when they would practice archery in the Middle Ages. The meaning also doubles down with the part it played in World War II. The high altitude made it ideal storage and use for ground-based defence guns to protect London by shooting down any aircraft which posed a threat. Shooters Hill doesn't have a train station of its own, but compensates with a variety of bus routes which offer convenient 10-minute connections to either Welling or Woolwich Arsenal stations. The best way to visit is probably by car. Although it's devoid of a London underground station, Plumcroft Primary School decided they'd take a chunk of a tube train anyway to remix into an outdoor classroom. Shooters Hill Golf Course now sits on the crest of the hill, along with the tennis club neighbouring the tranquil Eaglesfield Park. During the warfare of yesteryear, the hill naturally became a camp to hold prisoners of war in a spot covered by the golf course today. parkland on offer is the public open space of Oxley's woodlands. As vast as this space is, it can be very easily missed since its access points are modestly tucked away behind the residential facades of the hill. Shooters Hill is elevated 132 metres above sea level, the height of London Eye placing it within the top 10 biggest bumps of a London topography map. The crown jewels of these woods collectively is the Gothic styled and fortress like Severn Drew Castle of 1784. It's classified as a folly, a building designed without any real purpose other than why not? Despite this fact, it was then used as accommodation and manned by two people to observe air raids at 360 degree angles, 24 hours a day between 1939 and 1945. It then became fundamental to the survey mapping of England and measuring the proximity between London and Paris all by way of triangulation. Basically, by manually measuring and then observing where two lines of sight of a triangle cross, along with their angle, you could mathematically determine the measurement of the third triangular side, saving massive amounts of work. On this clear day, we can directly see Wembley Stadium with 100% of inner London sandwiched between us. And with the provided binoculars, we can even see Windsor Castle 29 miles away, well outside both the Greater London Boundary and M25 Belt. <laughs> 